Everything most Americans know about the Boston Massacre comes from this engraving. The patriot Paul Revere created it five years before his legendary midnight ride. The widely circulated picture shows a small group of unarmed civilians being cut down by a volley of musket fire. The picture has been reprinted in countless history books and pamphlets and has been the defining image of the incident for more than two centuries. But almost everything about it is wrong. The shootings took place at night, not during the day. A thick layer of snow and ice lay on the ground, and the colonists were not the passive victims depicted in the engraving. There were a total of nine British soldiers that night, not eight. And most importantly, the picture has Captain Preston standing behind his men. Revere has shown his anti-British bias. The witnesses, first of all, placed Preston in front of the soldiers to begin with. The soldiers are lined up very neatly as if they're firing in formation and as if they're being given a signal to fire by the commanding officer. This contradicts the witness testimony. This makes it look like a massacre. We have very little information about the victims of this so-called massacre. But one person depicted in the engraving has achieved a measure of fame, Crispus Attucks. Crispus Attucks is probably the most well-remembered name from the Boston Massacre. He was popularly touted as the first black American to die for the cause of freedom. Attucks is remembered in history as the first victim to fall to the British guns, shot at point-blank range as he stood in front of the crowd. But is this really what happened? We actually know very little about Crispus Attucks. Was he a hero or a propaganda invention?